are just what you hope for as a spectator. A warm welcome. I'm Derek Ray, perched here on the commentary gantry, and sitting alongside me to provide expert analysis is Stuart Robson. And we're getting ready for a quarter-final second leg match in the Champions League. It's Barcelona against Paris Saint-Germain. Well, Derek, Barcelona were the better side in the first leg, no doubt about that. But they can't be complacent here. They need to show the right attitude right from the start of the game. Ferran Torres, Pedri, Araujo, on to De Jong, Torres, Lewandowski, well he's bound to be disappointed with himself, not a great effort Stuart. Well the less said about that the better, not a good decision from him. Marco Asensio. And Marco Asensio on the move. Well, with tackling like that, the onus is on the referee to take action, potentially. Well, there we have it. The first yellow card of the game. And he's going to have to be careful now. There's a long time to go here. Ronald Araujo. Lewandowski now. PSG doing well to regain possession. He has teammates around him. And it's Barcelona's turn now. Torres. And back with Lewandowski. Lucas Hernandez. Ferreira. And a tidy tackle. It will be a Paris Saint-Germain free kick. Vitor Ferreira. Ferran Torres. And the referee has decided to award the free kick to PSG. Flirting with more than a bit of danger following that challenge. He's already been booked. And going short with it. And a confident clearance. Dembele. Here's Mukiele. Will he finish? And it goes! And that changes things just a bit. Well, it's a goal you'd expect him to score, but he kept his cool and he put it away nicely. He'll be happy with that. So the ball rolling again with the scoreline standing at 1-0. And there it is, the half-time whistle. So the two teams have switched around and the second half is underway. Skriniar. Manuel Ugarte. Good-looking sequence, this. Ugarte. Is this the moment? And with that, the attack fizzles out. Ferran Torres. Well, PSG have it back now. Big chance to get them on terms. And fired against the crossbar. Oh, a vital interception. And the defenders know they need to get tighter. Ferran Torres. Well, I think just lost his focus for a second and a throw in conceded. And time for the change now. Into the final 20 minutes. Must be! Well, how about that for a piece of tackling to break things up?
Gavi. Cancelo. Chance for Gundogan. Well, he didn't catch it badly, but certainly questions to be asked about the lack of accuracy there. PSG are going to switch things around on the personnel front. Ugarte. Ferreira. Five minutes to go. Marco Asensio. Might it be Mbappe? Well, that's a foul, and it sets up a free kick in a dangerous position. Well, the players in the wall. Oh, a goal! What drama here! Level pegging now, and who's to say what will happen next? Well, here it is again, and that touch to the side is just big enough to take the wall out of play and open up the goal but it's still a very good finish. A really well-worked free kick. So the ball rolling again. 2-0 the score. They cannot be separated here, and it's on to extra time. Well, back underway here, and it's quite simple. Both teams must steal themselves for 30 extra minutes. Plenty of support here. Over the touchline for what'll be a PSG throw. And the substitution will occur now. Ugarte. Vitor Ferreira. Kunde. Gundogan given away by Ilkay Gundogan so at the halfway stage in extra time and 15 more minutes left substitution it is for PSG and so the drama continues here we're into the second period of extra time and great work to confuse the defender. De Jong. Ferreira. Dembele on the ball. Here's Mbappe. Progressive football from Paris Saint-Germain. They know a goal at this late stage might be decisive. Well, keeping it on the ground, slightly off target, however. Locked together then, these two sides, and on we go now to penalty kicks. And this will test the mentality of any footballer. In it goes! Can he convert? And it wasn't the greatest penalty! And it's been saved by the keeper. Well, it's all about keeping a cool head. So lethal in front of goal. Oh, a superb save. And he steps up to take his penalty. And that penalty attempt well below average. Job done from the spot. Mental preparation is such a big part of this. And he finds the net. He could hardly miss. And so the tension levels have been ratcheted up to full blast. And there it is, perfectly executed. Well, this could be the one. And in it goes, 
Admirable composure from the spot, and they have their place and the last four secured. Well, I have to say, he never really looked like missing, did he? That really was a confident penalty at such a crucial time as well.